Hey everybody, Phil here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I figured it was time to do uh, another masterpiece for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, Kathy has flooded a 10 by 10 canvas for me, so she has that all ready. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this on the fly and see what happens. I'm gonna first go over the colors I'm using today. We have hot cinnamon from Primary Elements mixed with Josanja Burgundy, Lemon Drop Primary Elements mixed with Pineapple Crush Primary Elements. This is a mixture of Mandarin Blush from Primary Elements and Artist Loft Vermilion. Here we have Olive Vine Primary Elements and Blick Hooker's Green mixed together. This is Golden Quadacridone Magenta by itself, Cranberry from Primary Elements, and Amsterdam Turquoise. So, okay. Um, oh, hang on. Yes. Do you people notice anything different about Phil? This really is Phil, but he now has a goatee oh, and a mustache. I haven't had one of these in 50 years, I don't think, but well, we'll try one again. It's something so, new. Saves a little time in the morning shaving. Okay. So let's see how I'm going to put these pants down here. I think I'm going to kind of do a, a, a line of drizzles here. And last time I did a painting, I told you the story about how Kathy and I uh, first met and how when I first asked her out, she turned me down. But we finally did get together and... <laughs> I convinced her to go on a date with me. So it was a Friday night. Uh, I pull up to our house in my old beat up used Corvair. Um, it was a nice car, it was a convertible, but it wasn't anything real fancy. And uh, we did a little bit of small talk and then she says, whoa, okay, what are we gonna do tonight? Uh, uh, me being so suave, I had no clue. I didn't, I was so happy to have a date, I didn't plan anything. So my mind is racing and I thought, let's go to the outdoor theater, watch a movie. <laughs> and uh, back then, there aren't very many outdoor theaters uh, around anymore. That's where you pull your car on and uh, you're, you're outside and it has a big, like 200 foot screen uh, in front of you. And unfortunately, they're known as the biggest makeout areas in the county at that time. This is in the 1960s. So here I am picking up a 16 year old girl, I'm 18 at the time, and uh, I'm asking her to go to the biggest makeout place in the whole county for her first date. She was a little leery about agreeing to it, but she finally did agree uh, to go. What it, color are you using? What color am I using? Green. <laughs> that is. Blick Hooker's Green and Olive Vine by Primary Elements. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, we get to the outdoor. We get to the outdoor, and in the outdoor, <laughs> they, they have these humps that you pull up on your, and your car goes like this, so you can look at this huge screen. And uh, what you have is, in those days, you pull up. There's a post, and then there's a. A speaker. Oh, a speaker, yeah. The big old metal speaker that you'd pull off the post and, and hang on to your window. Now, the problem with that is when you put this big speaker on your window, it had a crack about five or six inches. You couldn't put your window all the way up. Now, because... What color all, are you using? My color is Conacridone Magenta Golden. Okay. Okay. Um, the mosquitoes. Not, wait. <laughs> you... When you go to an outdoor theater, of course, they don't start the movie until dusk. Well, you know <laughs> when it's dusk because that's when 10,000 hungry mosquitoes come out. And uh, because you couldn't close the window, they found that opening and started sucking on us like crazy. And we were, <laughs> we were smacking each uh, ourselves. They were, they were biting our necks, our arms. We're, we continuously swatting all these mosquitoes that got in the car. Of course, once they're in, they can't get out, pretty much. They didn't want to because they had us to feed on. And uh, we lasted about 10 minutes of that, and we looked at each other and we said, we can't take this anymore. <laughs> we've, got, we've got to leave. So 
we came from a small town. There isn't too much to do, even on a Friday night. And so uh, we decided to drive into town to see if we can find any people that we knew and just kind of hang out with some friends. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try. Oops, I, I messed this up already. I was supposed to go over here. Okay. That's well, okay. That's okay. Well, we drove into town, couldn't find anybody that we really knew to kind of hang out with and talk to. So me, I had the bright idea. Of course, I had this little Corvair. It was a stick shift. And I thought, I know, I'm going to teach Kathy how to drive a stick shift. Great. Can't be that hard. Great. Now, you got to remember, Kathy had just turned 16. She's a brand new driver, inexperienced. And here I am thinking I'm going to teach her how to drive a stick shift. So I drove around the block a few times showing her the different gears and the, and the clutch. And of course, for those of you who aren't familiar, you have your, your gas pedal, your brake, and the third pedal is the clutch, which disengages the gears so you can change uh, gears and so forth. And you have to coordinate that stuff properly uh, to actually drive decently with a stick shift. So I figured uh, I showed her a few times, ah, she knows what she's doing. So I pulled into a parking space and got out and she got in the driver's side. And of course she couldn't get it into reverse because you have to find the right spot to put the gear shift to get to reverse. And, and so I finally helped her get into reverse and, and she killed the car a couple of times just trying to back it out of the parking space oh, that we were in. So uh, she finally got a, into the road and then had of course put it into first gear. Well, again, trying to find where the first gear is, if you don't do it properly, it grinds. You grind the gears and it makes a god awful loud noises. So she was grinding the gears, trying to find first first gear, and some idiot drives by and says, Grind me a pound. Yeah, which, I, oh my which god. Which was the big thing back then with uh, stick shifts. If they didn't know what they're doing and it made all that noise, you kind of made fun of them and so forth. Yeah, that but, was real good. So we, she finally got it backed out into the road, killed it again, of course. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we got it in the first gear, and I said, Well, just. Just let up on the clutch and give it some gas and you're going to be fine. Well, she was fine for about the first 300 feet until the cars in front of us were all stopped up. Which isn't too much of a problem unless you're on a hill like this. I took her on the only street in town, or the steepest street in town, to teach her how to drive a stick shift. And the problem with that is you have to let your foot off the brake put on the gas, let out the clutch in order to start going forward. If you don't do that properly, you start rolling backwards with those cars. Well, she started rolling backwards, started freaking out. What am I gonna do when I'm rolling backwards? There's cars in back of us that she's getting closer and closer to. And I'm saying, step on the brake, step on the brake. <laughs> so she steps on the brake, she's shaking and, and practically crying. And I says, okay, calm down. All you gotta do is when you take your foot off the brake, push on the gas and let the clutch out real quick. Of course, she did that. She stomped on the gas, popped the clutch. My boys go <laughs> like this. And, I, and the whole time I owned that car, I couldn't squeal the tires. Kathy squealed the tires when she did it. On, I uh, burned on some rubber. You burned some rubber on that one. So she finally got going. We never got out of first gear because she was uh, too afraid of that. So we got to a spot where she could pull off the road. She's hollering at me in, with words that I never knew a 16-year-old knew. And I'm laughing, of course, being an idiot teenager boy. I'm laughing like crazy. She's mad as heck at me. Gets out of the car and starts walking away. And I think, oh, my gosh, I've blown it. Our first date, I take her to this place that's all about making out. And... Um, that didn't work out too well. Then I tried to teach her how to drive a stick shift. That worked out even worse. And now she's w walking away from me. So Okay, so let's get on with our painting here. Okay. For, and then you All can right. tell the rest of it after. Okay. Oh, oh my. Oh. Right now he's putting black cell activator on a spatula, which is black oxide paint by Amsterdam and Australian float trawl. And what are you going to do with that, Phil? What am I going to do with it? Yes. I'm going to swipe. You didn't say what you were going to well, do. I'm going to, well, I'm going to... <laughs> You're too into your story. Yes, I am. 
Okay. I'm gonna let that. Well, I just want to just finish it. It's only take to take a minute. <laughs> she's walking away, and I and I'm trying to get her to stop. And she and I said, "Where are you going?" Well, her parents owned a tavern, which is literally a block away. And so I thought, "Oh, I've blown this. I'm never going to see this girl again." And uh, she said, "Well, you can come with me." And, I, and I'm thinking, "Oh, geez, I'm going to go meet her parents." And if they ask me, how did the date go? Here I'm going to tell them, well, I took her to the makeout area of the county. And, and then I tried to teach her to drive a stick shift. So she almost wrecked my car. Um, then, other than that, it went pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, we're still together. We are still together. I'll tell you people, that was something I will never, ever forget in my life. I was so scared driving that stick shift up Green Street, like Phil said, the angle of, oh my God. The steepest street in town. Oh, but at least to this day, I still know how to drive a stick shift. That's true. Mm -hmm. On That's the council true. and on the floor. <laughs> That's true. Would I ever have another one? Never in my life. Okay, so we're getting a few cells here. Nothing uh, very encouraging at this point in time um let's see here now well it's okay make sure if you're gonna marble make sure you have your canvas unstuck before oh, yeah. you do this <laughs> remember because right. last That's time right. you had it up and you didn't know what you were doing oops i am got my fingers on the top oh boy that's fine yes okay well, let's try the marbling boop Boy, and you notice Phil has gloves on this time. Cool. Isn't that fun? This is a lot of fun. I love doing this. It's so nice being on this side of the camera, people. Oh, my goodness. I love this. But as you notice, Phil has his good clothes on, unlike me. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I got a, I got a Grand Canyon going there again. It's like... No, it'll, it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, it's going back together. Yeah, it'll be okay, fine. Okay, okay, let's see here. Stick this back on there. Hey, your marble even stuck on there. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, now, let's see. I guess we want to do some spinning now, huh? If that's okay. what you want to do. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's stuck down enough. If it isn't, it'll just fly towards me, which is okay. Oh, oh, oh no, I've got my fingers on the top again. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. Push, push the tape I, down. I, well, the tape was fine, <laughs> except there was too much pain on the tape. Look okay. at your hands. Thank what? God you have gloves on. Okay. Oh. I got to go slower. <laughs> <laughs> How come that doesn't happen to you? <laughs> I don't know. You went that way already. I know. I want to go some more. The same way? Well, yeah. Don't you know your directions? Hey. That's what you, you better, always you say to watch me. What you're saying, lady. That's what you always say to me. Don't you know your directions, uh, Kath? Okay. I'm now, what do you got? Tip? I'm going tip. Oh, no. Let's see here. Is it moving? Doesn't look like it's moving to me. It's moving. It moves slow. Why are you shaking it? <laughs> gravity. I got to get more gravity going. Do, 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 do. I'm making a mess of the sides. Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, this is not good. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I, would oh, I, got spin it. I would spin it again. You would? Mm -hmm. I'd spin it the oh. opposite way, though. This way? Yep. Nope. That's the same way. Phil. Gosh, darn it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See, it's better because you spun it. Oh, yeah. I think it's better because it flew off. <laughs> <laughs> well, third time's a charm. You're going to have it spin off three well, times? See, it won't stick because I got too much paint on the... I've got paint on the sticky tape. Yes, you do. I think it's really okay, pretty, though. Okay, okay. I, I like it. 
Oh, okay. I really like it. I like it because we've got some, somehow I got You uh, got white your white cells. cells. Uh, uh, <gasps> oh, See, man. Why did you do that? Oh. You can't do that with gloves on and paint. You just wrecked your creation. Okay. Anyways, we got the white. Don't do it again. <laughs> Don't put hey. your hand over it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I it love was it. Fun. It was fun. You got some nice cells. I love the colors. Yeah, that's, that area is pretty nice. That, that's area. It's that's all nice. really nice until you did that, but we yeah. might be able to fix that. Okay. I like it. Phil, don't fling your hands. Okay. You're going to get it all over your painting. Quit playing. Okay. I had some fun. Get your hands away. I, they're away. I just better hope I don't touch myself. I had a lot of fun um, trying a couple of different things. It's fun to do the marbling, that's for sure. Um, I wish I would have got a little bit better painting out of it, but hey, I'm just fooling around and... and uh, You're uh, still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So until the next time... Uh, don't forget to subscribe, to, subscribe our to our channel and also become a member of Kathy's Paint Program at Kathy Miller Facebook group. And I don't know what else. Well, stay healthy, stay safe. And remember, it's, it's only, only it's only paint. That's for sure. And yeah. we love all of you. <laughs> that's right. So okay. until the next time, everybody. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> We're going to go back down and take one look, which it's really nice. I, I love the colors that you chose. I think it's really, really pretty. I hope you enjoyed our story of how we had our first date because I will never, ever forget that. So here we go, everybody. See you later. Bye.